can I return his compliments if I don't know who's sending them? Apaches. Ah. How many? If I can't see him, Toro, I can't count him. Let's get behind those rocks. Sailors without boats. Now well, let's get walking. short scope. I hate to be late, Toro. Well, of course, but General Freeman would rather have us later than later. Now we're no longer caballeros. We've lost everything except the pistols we carry and the shirts on our back, and shirts is not enough to get us to Fort Hazard. You still have the money belt, don't you? See, I have it, but what good is money here? Look, Toro. Apaches. Get away with our provisions and horses. Apaches? Whereabouts? Back around the mountain? We better go around the range. I sure hate to lose this Bermuda. I'm Jim Stacy, foreman of the Rattlesnake A. Well, I'm Kit Carson. This is El Toro. Last I heard of you, you were out Montana way. We're on our way to Fort Hazard on a highly important mission. We're most badly in need of horses. You could sell us four of these nice ponies, no? No is right. Sorry, Carson. My boys are rounding up back at the range. I'm bringing up a fresh string. But you'll never get through past the range, Apaches. My friend is right. You might as well sell those horses while you still have them. We'll take four of them at 50 apiece. That kind of money, I'll gamble with the Apaches. Well, to save you from the perils of gambling, $500 in gold coin. That a deal? Pete, get me the writing stuff. I'll make Mr. Carson out a bill of sale. As long as you're heading east, you can pick up saddles at Broken Nose. About 20 miles down the road. Thanks. Let's take our pick, Toro. Charges the stables? I'm the owner. My name is Oaks. You fellas thinking about putting up them ponies? No, but we're in the market for some riggings. Yeah, I noticed you're making it in bareback. How come? Apaches. But we ran into a rancher, sold us four of his cabby. Do tell. Well, now, seeing as how you're in the market for saddles, I got a couple inside that might do. You step right in, I'll be right with you. Thanks. ones? Yep, these two. Make you a good price. How's it fit? I see, I see. Yeah. Well, these two saddles. Now, let me see. Tell you what I'll do. I'll let you have both of them for 150. Well, that's no bargain. But 
Let's get him on the horses, Toro. Give us a hand with the bridle, folks. Sure. Afternoon, boys. These your horses? That's right. Bought them this morning. Mind if I see the bill of sale? Not at all. Wait here. Oh, Sergeant, look them over. Might be the ones you're after. Well, tell me these horses were stolen. Sergeant's got a list of eight horses that were run off from Fort Hazard last month. He's trailed them out this direction. And it looks like he might be on the right track. These are the ones, all right, Sheriff. Caramba, Kit, what is this they're giving us? They're all described right here, Sheriff. Would you like to look? That's all right, Sergeant. I'll believe you. What do you mean, you believe him? What is this, some kind of a new skin game? Not at all, mister. It's a plain case of horse stealing. And it looks like you gents are the thieves. You're full of frijoles, Sheriff. We paid good American dollars for those horses. Five hundred in gold. Yeah, I know. That's what it says here. Except I don't happen to believe it. Why not? These horses might be the same as described in the Army report. But they have the Rattlesnake A brand, not the Army's. That's a pretty good alibi, boys. The Rattlesnake A is just a worked over U.S. Army brand. That's right. I'll even show you how you did it. That's the U.S. Army brand. Change it into a rattlesnake, eh? All you guys did was use a running iron and did this. Why those dirty coyotes? They flamboozled us, kid. Sorry, boys, I'm gonna have to hold you. I'm assuming the Army's ready to press charges. That's right, sir. You're making a big mistake, Sheriff. So happens we work for the United States government ourselves. Stealing mounts? Lock them up, Sheriff. These are slick boys. Let them do their talking to the circuit court. You'll be sorry, Sheriff. That's right. This is El Toro. We're Army scouts on a special mission. I was with Carney on the march to California. Carson was his chief of scouts. This man's not Carson. And I don't remember you being there either, Sergeant. But I won't forget you being here. Well, now, it uh, looks like it's one man's word against the other. Naturally, if you have some proof. When the Apaches got away with our horses, they didn't leave the saddlebags. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you either have to take my word for it or suffer the consequences when the Army catches up with this man. Get him behind bars right now, Sheriff, or your prisoners won't be alive to talk to the circuit court. You'll have to be on your recognizance, Sergeant. I'll take the full responsibility. We'll learn their real names later. Well, uh, all right. In here. I'm not going to like this, but my feet will. Could I, Toro? The sheriff has sent these tacos and beans over from the cantina. Kit, I'm not mistaken. It's the very same one. Amor de mi vida. El Toro! Oh, how good it is to look at you, my handsome one. Oh, oh this cruel bars to keep us apart. My arms remember you and ache for you. Un momento, my brave little bull. How is it you left me without even the adios or the wave of the hand? Oh, well, now, my little pigeon, in, 
In the army, it's always like this. Uh, on the march, one day, up in arms the next. Up in whose arms, senor? Oh, you, you don't understand. I'm going to explain to you, Conchita. Conchita? I'll... You call me Conchita? The name is Lolita. Lolita. Conchita, Lolita, Margarita, Jesusita, Juanita. That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Shakespeare. It is a good thing you are behind the bars, or I would scratch your eyes out. Oh, please forgive me, senorita. My heart will remember you always, even if my head does not. Don't you dare speak to me about your heart. It is made of lead. I know. Oh, you know these men, do you? I have never seen them before in my whole life. Lolita, how can you do this? She knows us, Sheriff. She's telling the white lies to spite us. You better keep an eye on them, Sheriff. Especially this one. I have a feeling he is one very bad hombre. Don't try bribing any more people into recognizing you. You and your romances. A man like me needs someone to keep the books. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. But you told me I'd get a hundred. You'll get the rest when Carson and friend are out of the way. Well, now, I'm a peaceful man, and fighting's not my line. From what I heard in the cantina, the boys are thinking Lynch thoughts. Wouldn't take too much to stir them into action. Of all the people to swindle, why did you have to go and pick out Kit Carson? What difference does it make? You better get on the road with the horses. You sure I won't be stopped? I told the sheriff I was hiring a man to take the horses back to Fort Hazard while I scouted around for the ones still missing. I'll join you just as soon as I make sure Carson doesn't give us any trouble. You boys really got a nice business. Sure beats running a livery stable. Well, you just keep it under your hat or there won't be anything left of this livery stable except a pile of ashes and some red hot horseshoes. Now let's get over to the cantina and start the pot boiling. Cantina, they are coming here. You must stop them, Sheriff. Now, don't get so excited, Lolita. Coming here for what? To hang the prisoners. That's for what? I think they're talking about us. They're up to something, all right. The soldiers, Mr. Oaks, they talk of nothing but lynching. I was in the cantina, Sheriff. With my own ears, I hear them. I'll handle those loafers, Lolita. Now, you go on back to the cantina. You are mean. You are going to let Kit and El Toro stay here? Die like mouses in a trap? Kit and El Toro, huh? I thought you said this afternoon you didn't know them. That was this afternoon. A little of the jailhouse is good for a man. But the lynching, that is something else. That man is Kit Carson. The other one I am angry with. But I do not like to see him die either. She's telling the truth, Sheriff. I'm sorry, Lolita. Take the gun, El Toro. My little Amazon pigeon, you're wonderful. Open up, Sheriff. Horse thieving. Now assault with deadly weapons and jailbreak. If I have to, I'll spend the rest of my life getting you back. I don't intend going through life with these charges hanging over my head. Neat little horse swimming going on around here, and you can't see it. I'm getting out of here so I can show it to you. Hey! Wake up in there, Sheriff. Let us in. The Citizens Committee wants in. We want them two fellows that stole the horses. There ain't gonna be no horse thieves in this town. Sure, there's more you can It's no time for mishmash. Thank you, Lolita. Come on. If they try to ride out, we'll hear him. Give me an idea, Toro. Come on. Take that horse and follow me.
heard what the sheriff said. Kid, if we try to ride out, he'll have us for sure. That's exactly what I want. They're making a break for it down the alley. They're headed south. Come on. Carson and El Toro's on the loose. They just rode out. Yeah, I know. They took my horse, the dirty thieves. <laughs> Look who's calling who a thief. Look, I need another horse right now. I've got to warn the boys and then get out of this territory. All right, take this one. I'll help you saddle him. Hey, wait a minute. If you and the boys are pulling stakes, when am I going to get my cut? The boys have been holding up Adobe Wells. You know where that is? Sure. Well, we'll leave your share in the wood box right beside the kitchen stove. Hiding the whisper out of you, and this is liable to go off. Where's Dobie Wells? I don't know. You will remember I scratched your back with a pitchfork. I ain't done that wrong. Them fellows were just paying me a few dollars for keeping some horses for them. I didn't even know they were swindlers till you got arrested yesterday. I said, where's Dobie Wells? An old way station on the old North Road ain't been used in four or five years. Get a rope, Toro. What are you going to do to me? You ain't going to hurt me, are you? Not a sign of them anywhere. They must have flew off those horses like a couple of jaybirds. We better be getting back to town. I'll give Oaks back his horses. I want to talk to him anyway. Seems he was the one that led that mob last night. He and a couple of you guys have got a thing or to learn about law and order. Those murdering rascals just about done me in, Sheriff. They was hit out in here all the time. Wait, quiet. Listen to this, boys. Sheriff, this is one of the men you want. The others are Dobie Wells. Meet me there. You'll have the proof you need. Signed, Kit Carson. Don't you believe that, Sheriff. 
He's just trying to pin this horse swindle onto me. Swindle? What's this about a swindle? Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, horse thieving. Honest, Sheriff, I swear I got nothing to do with it. You're not the most church goingest man I know, Oaks. I think I'll make you comfortable in the jailhouse while I go out and have a look around, Dobie Wells. Come on. How about we should move in? Let's go. Russell, looks like Carson and his friend are coming in for a talk. Well, let's go give him a reception. Right place, no doubt. Shall we keep on moving in? I don't know about you, but I want to get the Fort Hazard before Fremont moves out. We don't have enough men for a standoff. I saw something back on the road that gives me an idea. Come on. Looks like the great Carson doesn't want to fight. We better be sure. You think it will work, Kit? I don't know why not. You boys go and get the horses ready to move. I'll ride on up that road a piece and make sure that Carson's gone. Hey, look at that. rise. Your horse swindler, Sheriff. Say, isn't that the sergeant? He's no more of a sergeant than you are. He stole that uniform and he stole the horses. I don't get it. Well, the foreman sold us the horses and then directed us to a town where he knew his friend would be waiting. You mean they sell and reclaim horses with false credentials? That's right. And by moving around from town to town, they can make themselves three to four hundred dollars a week. If you want further proof, take a look at the corral. Bob, take care of these two men. Harry, Joe, come with me. As long as we're hurrying to meet General Freeman at Fort Hazard, we might as well take the Army's horses with us, no? That's a good idea, Toro. And maybe the General won't be mad at us for being late.